Now, I tell you what, I like you and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Hey, what's up everyone? It's me again. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Black Ops 6 beta. Uh, it's been out for a couple days, the open beta anyway. I didn't play the early access one last weekend because I, I just didn't feel like downloading it. But for some reason I felt compelled to this weekend and I've been playing it a little bit. Um, I, I don't know the exact play time because there's no combat record in the beta right now, which I think they should have added, but you know, it's whatever, it'll be in the full game, hopefully. I mean, MW2 didn't have that. But anyways, I'm not gonna waste any time with the foreplay or any of that shit, I'm just gonna dive right in. So first and foremost, I wanna talk about the biggest change that has been made to the game, and the thing that everyone's been talking about, like, I guess it's the, the main selling point of this game, which is the Omni movement. Now, th this surprised me a little bit. Um, I was expecting it to be decent. I was expecting it to be, like, significantly better on PC, but I haven't, I mean, I haven't played it on PC, but I'm sure it still plays a lot better. But man, it surprised me with, like, how fluid the Omni movement actually feels. I thought that it would be annoying, like, some sort of new gimmick that COD was doing, and it wouldn't actually, like, you know, affect the game all that much. But it actually, it does affect the game, and it, it makes the game feel so much more fun and satisfying, and I expected it to be, like, a lot more sweaty. And it definitely can be, but I just think it's so fucking cool, and it reminds me so much of Max Payne 3. If you guys have never played that game, by the way, or any of the Max Paynes for that matter, you need to fucking do yourself a favor and go back and play those games. They are amazing. And I cannot wait for the fact that theater mode is actually going to be in the full game, and that, that reminds me, real quick, if I can just go on a little quick, quick little rant... I don't understand why theater mode is not, like, a staple in every Call of Duty game. It seems like Treyarch are the only ones that do it every single time they make a game, and no other developer does it, and I, I don't understand why. I need a fucking reason why. There's literally nothing but good that can come from theater mode. You can get cool clips, and you can probably find hackers a lot easier. Like, it's just better. Like, why, why do we not have it in every game? But anyways, aside from that and the Omni movement, Another thing I really liked about this game is the fact that the perk system is a little different, but not changing the core of the perk system like MW22 did. So basically the way it works is you still have the three slots and you get to, per you get to pick one perk per slot, but the difference is that in every other game, there would only be like certain colors for like every slot. So for example, one slot would be like red and then one would be all blue and then the other one would be like all green. But in this game, there's actually like multiple colors in each slot. And if you match every single perk slot with the same color, you get like a specialty perk that will give you a new ability. And I think that's like such a very subtle but like really cool new feature that they added. And it, it reminds me a lot of like the, the specialist strike package from W3, but like, I don't know, more... I'm not gonna say it's better or worse, I just think it's a cool new thing that they added. The music in the menu fucking slaps so hard. Like this is probably the best multiplayer theme we've had since like maybe Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2. Like, it's amazing in this game, and uh, I actually, like, it's the first time in a long time I've actually, like, listened to it in my own time, not just, like, in the menus and shit, chillin'. It, the music in this game is so fucking good. Like, Jack Wall is a goddamn legend, and I'm so glad that Treyarch has hired him, like, since, I think BO2 is when he first started working for them. It was either BO2 or BO3, but he's been in every game since, and I really hope they keep him, because he's fucking GOAT. He is fucking GOAT. That doesn't sound right. I meant to say he's the fucking GOAT. Another thing I noticed is that the matchmaking is actually very fast, and uh, that's kind of been a problem. One of my biggest problems with skill-based matchmaking is the fact that like lobbies would disband, and not only that, but... It would take so fucking long to find a match in these games, but now... Hopefully, in the full game, it still stays as fast, but I was able to find matches pretty quick, like within t maybe 10 seconds. It, shorter, a lot of the time. And now, that could be because there's a lot of people on the beta, and everyone's really hyped about it, but I don't know. I, I just really hope that it stays this way, because that is like a huge issue with these newer COD games, is the fact that it just takes way fucking longer to find a match than it did in, like... You go back and play COD 4 on the Xbox 360, and even though there's not a lot of people on it, it still takes way quicker to find a match than, like, some of these newer games. 
Play of the Game is back, and it actually, it feels like it has the best timing out of any of the other games it's been in. Like, it feels like it actually does pick the the genuine best play of the game most of the time. I mean, sometimes you get some douche who's using a fucking Jackal PDW, which that, that's, I'll get into that later. But uh, it's either using a Jackal PDW or a fucking, uh, he gets like a quad with a Simtex in the middle of Pit or something. Which, by the way, the maps in this game are decent, and I don't understand what the hate on Babylon and Scud is. I mean, Scud's a pretty open map, and the middle's pretty dog shit, honestly. I, like, I can see why people don't like Scud. But I've seen some people say that Babylon is, like, one of the worst Call of Duty maps of all time. And I, I don't understand that, really, because it's not really that different from any other map. I, I just don't really see what the big deal is about that map or Scud. I mean, Scud, it's very, like I said, it's very open. And there's, like, this really weird area in the middle where people just like to camp and head glitch and snipe. But I think that map's kind of cool because it has red barrels for the first time in, like, since fucking, like, Black Ops, I think. Like, it's been a long time since we've had that. And I just think it's kind of cool that there's some bit of interaction with the maps. Like, on, on Skyline, there's this, like, switch you can flip that'll turn the security on in the map. And it'll actually close certain parts of the building. And it's little, like, interaction things like that that I appreciate in the maps. And, and... Mostly Treyarch maps now. Like, not a lot of other developers do that now, but, uh... And, you know, most of them are small to medium size, and they flow pretty well with the fast-paced movement and everything, so I... Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the maps, but they do their job. So it's time to get into the bad shit. I just have to get this one out of the way. I know it's annoying, we keep talking about it, and... It's gonna keep getting talked about. Uh, skill-based matchmaking. Yes, it's in the game. Yes, it's pretty... It took- it actually took me a while for it to kick in, and I'm not some, like, dog shit player either. Like, I'd say I'm average to maybe very sliver above average. Just to give you an idea of, like, the kind of lobbies I usually get in MW 2019, Cold War, MW 23, uh, I usually get, like, esports wannabes in my lobbies for some reason, even though my KD is only, like, a one, barely, and that- you know, I could go on and on about skill-based matchmaking, but I just want to clear up. Yes, it's in the game. Uh, it doesn't... F to me, it didn't feel as strict when I was in a party. Uh, maybe it's because the my friend I was playing with is, like, a similar KD to me. But there's... Like I said, there's no combat records. So there's no way to really tell. I do think it's going to be in the game. And I do think we should stop talk... Like, not stop talking about it, but... Stop bitching about it, because it's, it's been five years since we've been complaining about it. It's clearly not going to fucking go away. It's going to be here to stay. You either deal with it, or you manipulate it, or you don't play the game. And those are really your only options now. And I hate to say that. I do think these games would be better without it, but that's just the way it is. If you're going to play COD, you should shut the fuck up about it, and you should just deal with it. Now, another weird issue I had with this game was uh, my friend I was playing with is playing on PS4. Yes, he's on PS4. Don't, don't bully him. I'm on the Series X playing, and we're doing crossplay. And I don't know if this is an issue with, like, the crossplay or if it's just a party issue in general. You let me know if you've dealt with this, too. But for some reason, every, like, two to three matches, it would just kick me out for no reason. And it would give me, like, an error message, like failed to connect to Activision matchmaking or something like that, I don't remember, but it was really annoying and frustrating, especially if I was, like, doing, if I was going, like, 20 and 6 in the middle of the game, and it just, like, randomly kicks me, like, it was very fucking annoying. Luckily, I can join back pretty quick, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was an issue I had. Weapon balance is kind of weird, uh, pretty much every fucking person in every lobby is using the Jackal PDW, because the time to kill in this game is a little odd as well. Uh, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, like, it, they, it says we're at 100 health, but it feels like we have the time to kill of, like, BO4 combined within the B23, and it just, some guns feel like they take way too long to kill people. The reason why the Jackal PDW is so popular right now is because it, it just kills really fast, and, uh, it seems to shred the most, but, honestly, I think it needs to get nerfed, because... Every other gun feels like a fucking sponge. Why is this one gun good, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's the only good gun, but it definitely feels like there's a huge difference between the Jackal PDW and the AK-74U, for example, or the XM4, 
or the fucking Tanto 22. I do like the way the guns feel, uh, but in general, I just wish everyone would stop using the goddamn Jackal. And I have to say this much, if you're playing the beta right now, and you're using a Jackal, you're a piece of shit, because I know you're the type of person that uses the same gun every match. You're a fucking loser. Please use something else. Thank you. The spawns are god-awful in this game, and Treyarch usually has an issue with this for some reason. Honestly, I've been seeing it become a trend with every COD now. Like, the spawns in every game now are just fucking terrible, and it takes them, like, two months to fix it. I don't get why. MW23 spawns were god-awful, too, and I'm pretty sure they still haven't fixed them in the sense that they give you free-for-all revenge spawns, so if you kill someone and, like, hard point, they'll spawn in your butthole, and that that's not how spawns should work. If I'm playing Domination and we've capped A, my team, when we die, we should be spawning on A flag or C or whatever side we're on. We should not be spawning behind the enemies. Like, that's... It, COD's been out for so long now, and they still can't figure out spawns. Like, it seems like they're getting worse with that, and I, I don't understand why. Especially with four years of development time. Like, that's just fucking ridiculous. This next issue is kind of like a small thing. It's not the worst thing in the world, because I'm sure it'll be fixed when the game comes out. But I noticed in the beta, when I was leveling up my guns, I can't actually see, like, what attachments I unlocked when I go to the gun. I have to go to like the after action report to see what I unlocked, which I think is pretty stupid. Speaking of menus, by the way, I just realized the menu is actually like a lot cleaner and different in this game than the past few games have been. I really hate that new like horizontal fucking menu. It fucking, it looks like you're browsing Hulu on Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Like it looks so bad and the menus in that game were so fucking confusing and even people that were like pros at the game were having trouble figuring out where, where to go to like look at what they unlocked like that's a that, that's kind of a problem but i kind of just now realize that the bo6 menus are cleaner and i guess that's a sign of good ui is that you don't even really notice it and you don't think about it i think that's about it for what i think about the game like i didn't want this to be a super in-depth review or anything i just wanted to talk about some things i like some things i didn't like i was surprised though like i really wasn't expecting to enjoy this beta this much and I've been seeing a lot of hate on it because the, the skill-based matchmaking. Like, dude, just fucking, just don't play it then. If, you're, if you don't want to deal with it, just don't play it. Like, it's that simple. And like I said, if you're partied up, it is not as bad, you know? At least from my experience, like, I don't know, maybe we're just all dog shit. But I'm pretty sure, like, if you're partied up, it, the skill-based matchmaking is not as bad. If you're solo playing, like, it is going to be, you're definitely going to feel a difference, but... Uh, as for me, I, I don't know, I'm not trying to be on some cool guy shit, but I'm just saying, like, I personally only had, like, maybe a few sweaty lobbies in, like, about 10 hours of playtime. Honestly, for me, that's pretty good, especially with these recent games, so I don't know if the skill based matchmaking is actually in the beta or not, but I know for a fact it is most definitely going to be in the game. You know, it, it is what it is. It's been, like I said, it's been five years since they introduced this new system. I don't, I don't know why we're still complaining about it. Just don't play the game if you're not gonna. If you're just gonna bitch about it, uh, I, I don't really understand that. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, I will be hopefully making a new video pretty soon. I recorded some GTA 4 with mods, and uh, I'm gonna be making a pretty funny uh, top five video, which I've never done about uh, COD maps. I hope y'all are doing good, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.